Hi there, today we're going to talk about uh, something that we all have to deal with once in a while, which is a clogged drain. So uh, it's going to get a little bit gross here in this video, just so I let you know, because there's some sort of uh, gross things down everyone's drains, hair and so what, what not. So the problem I have right now is the same problem everybody has, which is, let's wait for this. As you can see, it is not draining. So whenever you use this, it'll slowly fill up and then it drains fairly slowly as well, still hasn't drained. So we have a clogged sink. So the uh, what, I, what I want to talk about is that rather than using uh, some kind of uh, liquid Drano, like I, I've had a habit of using this uh, Drano Max gel or any other kind of chemical that's caustic to you know possibly your plumbing and definitely to the environment, rather than doing that, which by the way, when I use these sort of items, I'll follow the directions to the T, pour it down, you know, wait several hours or however, however you're supposed to do it, run the warm water, and quite often I have to do that two, three times and the drain is still not unplugged. So here is what I consider a easy, environmentally friendly way to do this. Go down to your local hardware store or to your local Home Depot, wherever you have. This is called a Zip It. And this Zip It, so it's probably for under about uh, $10, and it's just a uh, simple piece of plastic. You can see it has barbed areas all the way down it and um, in the packaging for this zip it they actually say to it, that it's a one-time use and I think they do that because they want you to come back and spend another ten dollars and get another one but I'm here to say right now you can use this over and over and over so let's go ahead and uh, proceed with unclogging the drain first thing you want to do obviously is pull this out you can see it's got a lot of really disgusting gunk on here so set that aside and the real trick here is you want to put this guy inside you're going to have some resistance if you have a clogged drain. What I do is I twist it. And the reason I twist it is most of the time, I'd say nine times out of ten, most of the problems is it's going to be a bunch of hair. Shaving, hair just dropping in normally when you, when you brush your hair, uh, and so forth. So what I do is I kind of work it down in there a little bit further. And you keep twisting it. And you might have to do this a couple of times, but I'll show you the first time here. You'll see you'll have a wonderful glob of just some really disgusting hair and slime and everything else. So pretty much what you do after that, let me lay this here, in order for you to be able to keep on working on it, is you just take some uh, plain white paper towels or whatever you want to use. Just take it, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab all this and just kind of work it off of there. Paper towels might rip a little bit because of the barbs, but you can get the uh, majority of the gunk off of there. You don't have to get it all off right away. What you want to do is wait until you're totally uh, done unplugging the drain and then you can go ahead and thoroughly clean this with some uh, hot water. So you can see I have a lot of gunk here. Let's put that off to the side. Then what you do is you go back in and repeat the same process. Again, turning around, kind of working it up and down. You get the idea. So basically this will really well unclog your drain. See if I have anything else down in there. And actually that one uh, bunch I brought up might, might be all that is needed. Now there's some more. So you got another bunch here. So even with just this, these two, let's see how we're doing. Just by simply doing those two runs down there, the sink's basically unclogged. I'm going to continue doing it to get anything else that's down there. But you can see this works much better, totally environmentally friendly, rather than using some kind of caustic chemical that can hurt your plumbing uh, and or the environment. And then once you're done with this, again, just clean it off, use some hot water, and you're good to go. And within just a what, couple of minutes here, you have a clean drain uh, that's uh, working properly.